Well, hello all you losers, you peons, you know-nothings, you cunts, you troglodytes. Any word that refers to you as something negative, it is us. The greatest, the best tag team in car wrestling today. Team Ratings. I am Denox, as always, with your partner, Johnny Thunder. <laughs> it is such an honor to do the promo with you, champ, best friend, BFF for life, team ratings partner. Oh, I love you, my friend. No homo. Exactly, because, again, we are the only guys that can love each other and not be homosexuals. I mean... Look at us, we've got the beautiful people with us, but let's not let's not talk about our loins and our our genitalians and how huge they are and how we pleasure everybody, especially of the female species. Let's talk about this certain uh tag team tournament that's gonna happen called Grand Grand Prix Zero. Grand Prix Zero, if I remember correctly, because quite frankly, it should just be called the tournament that Team Ratings dominates. Amen. Amen. I don't even know the name of this show. That's what the name should be. You're right. Because we are going to dominate every team. It doesn't matter who we face at all. And we even got the names of the teams that are in this tournament. Ooh. I'm so Names? Wait, they've got names? I didn't know they were that important that they had a bunch of letters connected to each other and were considered names. I thought Are their we? teams were named Jobber Team 1, Jobber Team 2, but apparently, dude, these guys have names. And we fought many of these guys before. Speaking of the first team on the list, Cool Nerd and Travis Sparks. Both of us have defeated Cool Nerd millions of times. And Travis Sparks is nothing but a low-life jobber who will never, ever get any Anywhere. Let, let me get this straight. So we've got Rad Geek, a guy that I've beaten on multiple occasions, and if I remember correctly, I won this title by defeating him. And then you've got Travis Sparks, the public enemy wannabe, the run DMC wannabe. Let me tell you something, go back to those turntables and start ripping up those Greek and vinyl records because that's all you're going to be good at. You will never have a chance against team ratings. Exactly. Those guys are nothing but a bunch of jobbers. And speaking of people who may be a little bit more jobbers than they are, Omega Red and DVD. VHS? DVD. Blu-ray? HD? Uh, whatever you want to call it, and then we've got Omega Pink, Omega Polka Omega what Sparkle, is... I'm Omega Sparkle, oh my god, hi. Nobody's scared of that freak. He walks around with a freaking mask on, oh, I'm Omega Red. Yeah, like we're intimidated by you? Come on, you're nothing but a little weakling compared to the muscle and the power and the attractiveness of team ratings. Let me tell you this, Omega Polka Dot. Le don't make me have to give you the same lesson that I gave you on the last CPV, where I basically made you bleed. I made you kiss the feet of your chick magnet, Dunox, Mr. Radical himself. Who else is on this damn tournament that it should be considered jobbers number one, two, three, four, ten billion, whatever? Compared to Team Ratings. Do you want to know who else is on the list? The current YLWA Tag Team Champions, the UK Invasion. They're from the UK. Do you know what that means, Knox? That means they don't brush their teeth. Anyhow, another thing that's a problem with the UK is that their most over wrestler that has ever come out of the UK is six feet under and eating dirt. He's as bad. Well as the None of you guys. Him. None of those UK guys matter. They're only tag team champions because we haven't fought them yet. That is the only reason they're champions. The other tag teams in this division are jobbers, but when they face team ratings, they don't stand a chance. That's the only reason why they're champs, because we haven't targeted them yet. Well, there is one thing that comes out of it when they face team ratings, and that is they are famous for one thing. They have our name and their name, and in between it, it is defeated. But our name is right before defeated. Just remember that, mind you. So pretty much they get their, their three minutes of fame with us. We put them over just by them jobbing to us. And then they go into oblivion. 
Exactly. And, and they, they enjoy, enjoy the little 15 seconds of fame when they're put over for maybe, what, a millisecond? Yeah. And then they are gone to nothingness. And I'm like, who else is in this damn tournament that I should not care for? The All-American Heroes, a.k.a. the All-American Jobbers, All-American Rejects, All-American Losers. Can I say any more All-American Idiots? Green Day. I wonder if that's their theme song. Why don't you go back to eating your vegetables, Patriot, because apparently the only thing that you like up your ass is a big freaking cauliflower and some celery. Well, that's not a surprise because it's a long little piece of stick and it's pretty big, so I guess you want something like that up your ass. And Kid USA, Kid USA, go back to a Star Wars convention and start talking about stormtroopers, okay? Da, 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 da. Who else is on this damn list? Do we really have to keep going? Come on. Come on. The, the worst team ever. Paul Rose and Barry, Barry Vinny Schnitzel, or whatever his name is. Barry Von Schmidt isn't that Adolf Hitler's second cousin, and then you got Benito Mussolini from Cana Canadia, Ca Canada, whatever it is. Ca Canadia? I think that's that how you say it. That country that's all the way up there in the freezing cold that pretty much is... Pussy land, as we like to call it. All they have are maple leaves and potatoes. And hockey sticks. And hockey sticks. That's pretty much it, and they say A a lot. And, a and B, C. Can you guys learn the full alphabet except A? That's all they say is A. How about B? What about X and Y and Z? Freaking losers. And fix your heads. They keep flapping up and down, and you got beady little eyes, and you laugh at fart jokes. I mean, just ask Terrence and Philip, okay? <laughs> Don't we have the degenerates in the face, too? Yeah, the degenerates. I have never seen these guys wrestle because nobody's ever heard of these guys. But, you know, I've heard of the other guys because we've beaten them many times, but I've never heard of the degenerates. They must be a new jobber team in the company. Let's just say this, because there's been an ongoing war with YLLWA and YTCW. Monoxide, you are nothing. Just remember this, I am the charismatic form of you. You have nothing on me because you know for a fact that I am the best character that Monoxide, the real Monoxide, has ever devised. Amen! Same with, oh, I was about to say something about SWA, but we're not really in a war with them. But David and Liam G are in this tournament, another couple of UK jobbers that we're not even going to go on and delve into. Uh, who, who else are we? Oh, oh yeah! Don't we have Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees to go up against? Really? Yeah. Oh, or, 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 I, I heard they were Dumpstack. Dumpstack, God, come down, put Doom all up to get banned. Dumpstack, God, come down, the fucking Dumpstack. Who are we making yeah. fun of? I don't know, some random guy we met in our WrestleMania trip. Anyhow, let's just say this, Doomsday. This is going to be the final sequel of this horror film because, quite frankly, we are going to be the killers at this point. And we're going to go on the killing spree of all these wrestlers and put them in retirement. You want to know why? Because we're team ready because we're just that damn good. Hell yeah! Because I'm Dux and I'm Radical. Actually, you know what? Before we decide to go, before we decide to cut everything off, I just want to look at the camera straight in the eye. And since we were talking about YLLWA and YTCW, the Wiz, if you really think that you have what it takes to become a Denox wannabe, you've got another thing coming. Because to be a Denox wannabe, you've got to have some kind of charisma and you've got to have some kind of radicalness, which you have neither. The only thing I could say for you is that your charisma is equivalent to a damn coat hanger. Okay, start learning how to cut a promo. Thank you very much. I'm Denox, and he's Johnny Thunder, and we're tagging out. No, we're not. We have one more thing to say. Oh. What would that be, Thunder? <laughs> um, for all the fans wondering, the rumors are true. Johnny Thunder and Knox are taking over Wild WA one day, and we're going to make our very own edition of the show. The full show will be given to us to show Al that we can put on a better show than he can, and the ratings will be off the charts. Now, you fans are going to get what you want, because we know that this is exactly what you want, because team ratings is the reason why you turn to Wild WA. So with that being said, he's the Knox, and what are you, Knox? And I'm radical. And I'm Johnny Thunder. Ah, ha, ha. We'll see you at the pay-per-view. And we're tagging out. Tagging out.